So before we get into this tutorial, I just want to uh, talk about this particular device that I purchased off eBay. Um, it's from video 18 when we're talking about the electronic parts. I received a message from Andy Powell 1080i uh, just advising me uh, the concern about the actual use of this Fisherman's Priest 301 or 301 pickup. Now, I did a little bit of investigation into the actual pickup after I purchased it, and especially after the message. So thank you very much, Andy, for letting me know. Now, these sell for around $20 on eBay, so I thought it was a great deal to grab. However, when it arrived, I did a test on it. It lit up. Uh, the battery seemed to work in it. However, it didn't work. The piezo pickup didn't work, um, as well as a little microphone in it. So I contacted the seller, and especially after Andy uh, left the message, did a little bit of research on it, and found out that these are actually actually a ripoff off the original Fisherman Prius. Now, those particular devices sell for around $100, so I thought I was getting a really good deal. Instead, now I'm battling with an eBay seller um, who's telling me that it isn't a genuine one. However, I've had a look online and there's a lot of websites out there and videos on YouTube pointing out and showing the characteristics to show what is a dodgy or a, a fake Fisherman Prius pickup. So, so ideally, don't use one. I'm just gonna use the normal pickup that I'll show you in this video. So thank you again very much for that Andy Powell for uh, letting me know in the comments letting me know things like this also assists the rest of our community when we're going to build one of these so thank you once again so we're going to get straight into this tutorial now this is Phil Masters, and we are now on part 22 of building the apprehension engine we're going to be focusing on installing the piezo pick up microphones inside, as well as installing the volume and tuner control uh, for the particular piezo pickup that I have purchased. So if you've purchased the same one, that's what you're gonna be installing today, as well as the other one. So we're doing two of them. So let's have a look at it first of all. So this is our piezo pickup. It's got a uh, one inch uh, microphone disc, which we'll be installing right here where I'm pointing, which is gonna be underneath where the bridge for the strings go for the hurdy-gurdy wheel. So, uh, and there's the hurdy-gurdy wheel uh, bridge right there. It's an adjustable one. So we're gonna be installing it. And uh, again, this one has two. So we're gonna put one right in the center of the soundboard as well, as well as in that same location too. Uh, and just wanna make sure it's uh, obviously in the center of it. So again, I'm gonna show you the measurements. So this is a one inch diameter pickup. Uh, you can get larger ones. It depends on which ones you wanna go for. If you get a larger one, you may have issues trying to install it between your hurdy-gurdy wheel, depending on if that's the amount of space that you've given yourself. So you should have at least have an inch in there. If not, you should have more, which means you should be able to put the larger one in there. First of all, I'm looking at the two tuners. So one's a tuner and the other one's a volume uh, knob. Um, as you can see, um, and we've also got the one quarter jack that goes onto the back of the apprehension engine, and I'll show you how to install that also. So first of all, we've got two. On this one, you may have bought one with just the one pickup, and if that's the case, make sure you install that uh, where the bridge is gonna sit. So I'm gonna lay it out at the back just to make sure it's uh, all untangled and nothing's tangled up. So that's one thing we need to make sure that everything is in its rightful order. And uh, once I've done that, it's just a matter of uh, installing it. So I'm gonna put the one quarter jack in the back. Again, you may decide to put it on the side. It's entirely up to you, it's your build. Uh, but if you wanna follow along, you can just simply follow what I'm doing. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure where I would like to put my tuner and volume control. Now you can put it up the top where I'm showing you now. However, if I wanna put other things like other noise makers on top, I may wanna have some clear space up there. So I'm gonna install mine on the right hand side. So it's in reach so I can tune it and I can also adjust the volume of the pickup as well as the fact that it's uh, on the right hand side. I'm going to make sure the drill that I'm using, as you can see here, this is a seven, size seven bit. I'm going to make sure it is the right thickness uh, for my part. Now I've showed you how to do that in the past, so I don't need to obviously show you again. Um, however, obviously, if you're choosing a drill bit, just make sure it is um, a little bit thicker than the actual part itself. 
I'm going to make a measurement now. Uh, depending on your box, your box might be slightly out. So just find the center of where you want to put it and then uh, make an adjustment uh, marking where you would like to put both of them. Because you've got two, obviously, it's a good idea to half the measurement and then work out where the one quarter point is for both of them, if that makes sense. Otherwise, it's exactly what you can see on the screen. Now, I'm putting my uh, pickup tuners and uh, volume uh, control knobs a little bit further down on my box. You can make them a little bit higher, but just make sure that you check on the inside where the framing is, because you want to make sure that obviously you don't drill through and then find out you don't have enough space to actually put your tuner. And it's just a matter of just uh, pushing the tuner in. Now, as you can see with mine, some models actually have a shorter tuner on it. And because of that, the thread doesn't go through. So I'm using one of these. It's a uh, spade bit drill. Now, what it does is it obviously it drills holes. Um, however, like this one, if you just drill halfway in, it'll give you a nice area so that your tuner or volume control can go in a little bit further, allowing that thread to come through on the other side of the box. Again, it depends on how thick your plywood is. So again, if it's the right measurement, uh, again, some of these volume control knobs are actually longer, which is great. Um, in fact, I'll show you one of them that is longer. However, because of this one's a little bit stubbier, this is a workaround in order to make sure that that part will go in there. And I'll show you on the other side as I push it through, you can now see that the thread for that has come through. So it's just a matter of installing the washer first of all, and then putting the nut on and uh, tightening it on. Now, when I tighten these on, I'm using a plumber's spanner or adjustable wrench, whichever you want to call it. But before you use that actual tool, make sure that you hand tighten it. So I'm going to install the second one now. So make sure that you choose which one. So for example, you're going to put your volume control in the front or your tuner perhaps, depending on because when you install it, it's probably a good idea to then write above it. Uh, you can make it whatever font you want, obviously, um, or you could put stickers on there just to indicate which one's the volume and which one is your tuner. So here I am just using that adjustable wrench uh, or plumber's spanner in order to uh, tighten it up. So I've tightened both of them. I'm not going to show you both of them getting done. Next, what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be uh, needing to drill two holes now, and that's going to be used for the humbucker. Now, that's not bumbucker, which unfortunately in the previous video, I made an error in the text in which I've edited on YouTube using the new editing uh, feature. Um, however, it is called a humbucker. So we're going to be now installing our tuners for the humbucker. So again, I'm going to just simply uh, find out where I want to put those. Um, and it's just a matter of measuring it, making sure that I'm using the right drill bit. Obviously making sure I'm using my square to make sure that all the uh, marks where I'm going to drill is straight because we want to make sure everything looks nice and straight, obviously. And using the right drill bit, make sure that you measure. Um, obviously, because um, Different models have different size tuners again. So you want to make sure that you're using the right tools for it. Um, and then it's just a matter of installing those as well. Now it's going to be exactly the same. However, you'll notice that with these ones when I install it, um, obviously I'm going to sand the outside of the box just to remove any material. So it sits nice and flush. But as you can see, um, these ones are longer. Uh, so the good thing is I don't need to use that uh, tool that I used before in order to drill it out. I can just push it through and uh, tighten them on. So I'm just going to speed this up. You don't need to see me doing this same thing again. But again, it's exactly the same as the previous installation. So let's just put it in there. While we've got a little bit of time, just want to uh, let you guys know as well, the next thing we're going to be doing in this build, so the next tutorial that's coming up is actually installing the reverb tank. Um, and that's obviously going to be a video. And then once we've done that, we'll be applying the strings and then we're done. So back again, with the previous video I was talking about with the humbucker, there is a ground wire. And that's that little black wire, which I said that you need to take notice of. We're going to ground it. Now, using the metal bracket that I've already used or installed when we were making the framing, it's going to loosen uh, the two screws on. So I'm going to take one out and then loosen the other one. Then I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver. That's going to allow me to get underneath that, just lift it slightly and just put that wire underneath the metal and allow it to be grounded. Now the grounding wire, what it's actually for is it helps to remove the hum that you get from uh, interference from transmission radios and stuff like that. 
So normally it gets installed into a metal bridge. Now you can install it into the bridge that we've already installed, the three string guitar bridge uh, for the three string uh, small guitar neck. However, because this is metal here and it's grounded into wood, uh, why not use that? So if you've got one of these brackets already set up, make sure that you install your grounded wire here. Again, it's uh, made so that it takes away a lot of that distortion or humming that you might actually hear from the pickup itself. Once that's done and it's secured, we can move on to the next part. So next I'm gonna make sure that I've got my one quarter socket for the humbucker pickup and also for my piezo pickups off to the side. And now we're gonna install our pickups. So you can see where it says 3M, that's actually one sided uh, adhesive. There's a sticky background. So just peel that off as you can see and that will allow it to stick to anything. So one thing you can do, if you wanna test these out first for location inside the apprehension engine, instead of taking those off, you can put a little bit of sticky tape on the back of it and then stick it to a part of the box, listen to it when you're making sounds, and if it doesn't sound too good, move it around and uh, trial it out. So the very first one I'm gonna install is gonna be right center in the middle of the soundboard. So it's gonna pick up all the vibrations from our strings, um, also anything that we have bolted on the front, for example, rulers um, or anything like that that makes the, uh, the vibrations through the box. Secondly, the next one right between the hurdy-gurdy wheel and the frame, as you can see there, is that space where we can now put our pickup. So I'm gonna put that central right in the middle between that so I've already taken the uh, sticker off. So sorry, I've got my arm in the way. Um, I will show you where it is. So you can see with the end of the pen where I've now located it, it's right in the middle and it's now installed. So we've now installed our Piazzo pickups underneath the hurdy-gurdy wheel where the bridge goes, also in the middle of our soundboard. And we're also uh, have installed our volume control knobs. We haven't put the knobs on them just yet, like you can see in this picture. However, in the next tutorial, this is what it's going to look like. So if you wanna become a Film Masters subby, it is pretty simple. You can subscribe to my channel. You can like me on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, Master it.